praise God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We thank God for your life and I hope last week was amazing. I, and I'm practicing it. I'm, I'm really, really, really practicing it so that, you know, it will become an evident in my life. Let's share with a prayer. Father, we thank you. We bless you for your faithfulness and for your goodness for all that you've done for us. We are here once again under your feet. Guide us, lead us, teach us. Open the eyes of understanding that we may behold the wondrous things in your word. Thank you for hearing us in Jesus' name. Amen. Living sacrifice through the glory of God. This is the part two. So glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his praise. First Chronicles 16, the verse 27. In our introduction, I say that let the glory of God lead you and you will never miss your way. Let the glory of God lead you and you will never miss your way. You will never miss your way. I tell you, may you never miss your way. Number one, we want to consider some few lessons. Number one, it takes the glory of God to change a man's destiny and make him more valuable. It takes the glory of God to change a man's destiny and make him more valuable. Psalm 8, it takes, and, and, and I, love, I love how God's word is just accurate. God's word is just amazing and how it's, it's really working with us. So we look at Psalm 8, the verse 1 to 5. Psalm 8, 1 to 5. Oh Lord, our Lord, oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens, out of the mouths of babes and sacred, hast thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mayest the enemies. And the valley and the avenger and the avenger who when, when I consider thy heavens sorry when I consider thy heavens the works of thy fingers the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained what is man this is where my emphasis lies what is man that thou what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visited him for thou hast made him a little lower than the angels thou hast crowned him with glory and honor so especially the verse 4 and 5 what is man that thou art mindful of him. And the son of man, that thou visited him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Now that word a little lower is referred that when it come to supernatural way, of power, the angels God has endowed them because of what they're supposed to do. But that does not mean that God is rating the angels more than human beings. God did not create angels in his own image. God created man in his own image. That's why we even judge angels when we get to heaven. And look at what the Bible is saying. He has crowned you with honor and glory. You may be looking down on yourself because of your present state, because of your challenges you are going through, because people don't regard you, people don't respect you, everybody look down on you. Please, God is more than enough. This is God speaking. Lift up your head. In case you are sleeping, I want you to wake up and sit down. In case you are sitting down, I want you to stand up. In case you are standing up, I want you to begin to walk. In case you are walking, begin to run. In case you are running, begin to fly. God has a lot for you. 
Don't let your past mistakes put you down. Don't, don't allow what people are saying to break you down. There is a better chance for you. He said, for I know the thought that I have for you. A thought of good and not a thought of evil. To bring you to an expected end. God have you in mind. God has a good intentions for you. And so be careful not allow things and people to, 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 to break you down and, 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 and to destroy everything around you. I know God will continue to guide you through. Number two, it takes the glory of God to reveal God's handiwork. It takes the glory of God to reveal God's handiworks. So without the glory of God, you will never see God's handiwork. Psalm 19, verse 1 to 3. The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day, utter left speech. And night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech, no language where their voices is not heard. Anything that speaks under the sun are in the ears of God. Do you know that three speaks? <laughs> Do you know that even the earth have hands that they write? Read your Bible. The earth, the earth speaks. I'm telling you. The earth speaks. Read your Bible. They are all there. So the glory of God, it always demonstrates the handiworks of God. It always demonstrates the handiworks of God. So if you don't know that God exists, the Bible said by creation, I think Romans chapter 1 and chapter 2, it said by creation, it is known to them that there is God that exists. Creation. So nobody have an excuse. Creation alone. Creation is one of them. Conscience is one of them. The word of God is one of them for you to know God. So if the word of God did not reach you, conscience is there to tell you that there is God. You know. All those Freemasons and all those people, uh, how do you call it? They said there's no God. They know in their mind. Some of them are there because of money. They know in their mind. Con their conscience tells them. And creation itself. I lost something. I think they were asking this boxer, Muhammad Ali, whether he, he believes that God exists and that they think that the word just came out of bang and whatever, noise and so forth. And I love the illustration that he made. He was having a glass of water on his table. Then he looked at the, the audience and took the glass and asked them a question. Whether the glass made him itself and whether the water entered into the glass by itself. He wanted to ask them. And he told them that whether you believe it or not, there is a God who created these heavens and the earth. And I love the illustration that he made. So don't let anybody deceive you. Number three, the way you position yourself before God allows him to manifest his glory in your life. The way you position yourself before God allows him to manifest his glory in your life. Psalm 24, one of my favorite verse 1 to 10 quickly the earth is the laws and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell and they that dwell therein for he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the frogs who shall ascend into the hills of the lord or who shall stand in his holy place he that has a clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Sarah. Lift up thy head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in, who is this king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, 
ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Hallelujah. When you position yourself, three hands and a pure heart, the Bible says his blessing will come upon you. Three hands and a pure heart. Three hands has to do with your physical environment, your posture, your, your gesture, your, your conduct, your behavior. Pure heart means that how you so so the the the, the, the clean hands it has to do your, your relationship between mankind and the pure heart has to do your relationship with, with God. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your and said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, as I said, as it is, you know, the first is like unto the second. It is very, very important that we have to understand this. And this has been one of my passions. Everything said the earth is the lost and the food and thereof. The word and everything that is in it. Everything is under God's authority. And if you position yourself, nothing, nothing, nothing can stop you to reach your goals. Amen. Number four, the glory of God is too powerful to take it for granted because it moves with his voice. The glory of God is too powerful. <laughs> it's too powerful to take it for granted because it moves with its voice. Deuteronomy chapter 5. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 24. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 24. Tells us, and ye said, Behold, the Lord our God has shown us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice out of the midst of the fire. Huh? We have seen this day that God doeth talk with man, and he liveth. Now therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us if we hear the voice of the Lord our God anymore. Then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh? For who is there of all flesh? Thou hast heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the midst of fire. As we have and live, oh my goodness, go down here and hear all that the Lord our God shall say. And speak thou unto us all that the Lord our God shall speak unto thee, and we shall hear it and do it. The people in the time Moses go and so and God has they, they, some of them view were doubting. And Moses, okay, Moses told God, God, the people want to hear your voice. Because mm, mm. he will go to the mountain and come, the Lord said this, the Lord said that, the Lord said that. Of course, they've seen certain signs before, but they were still, uh, Moses now went to say, God, come and speak to your people. I'm tired with them. Now, when God came and they saw the power behind his voice, fire was behind it. Now, they, they were even, they were afraid. They said, hey, for this one, nobody should hear this and leave. Moses, enough is enough. Go. What is the voice of God? The voice of God is this way. The Bible said the word of God is sharper. I think is it is in a Hebrew chapter 12. Verse 24 or so. If I if I'm right. It is not, it's, it's not verse 24. I'll, I'll look for it. It said, The word of God is sharper than two edges saw. That's how powerful the word, the, 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 the word of God is. That's how powerful. And so we, we cannot sit down and then be thinking that, oh, we, we, can, we can just uh, do anything anyhow. It doesn't work that way. Hebrew 4.12. Sorry. 
412. For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any. That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. Sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing ascender of the soul and spirit, and of the joint and marrow. And it is a descender of the thought and intent of the heart. The descender, you know, of the thought. So we're talking about the mind and the heart. It takes the spirit of God. It takes the word of God to distinction them. It takes the word of God to distinction the soul and the spirit. Hebrew 4.12. So the people now was running away. We cannot... You read somewhere in the psalm, it said the, word of, the voice of God is powerful. The voice of God is upon the waters. The voice of God breaks the seed of Lebanon. When God speaks, I pray that the word of God, Jesus said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of many water. May the word of God in your heart bring sources. That's why he told Joshua, this book of the Lord should not depart from your mouth. But thou mayest meditate there day and night and prosper. So, so the word of God brings prosperity. The word of God brings sources. Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that worketh not in the counsel of ungodly, nor standing in the ways of sin, nor sitting in the seat of discomfort. But his delight is in the law. In the law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like the tree that is planted by the riverside of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his own season. His leaves also shall not wither. But whatsoever thing that he doeth, he shall prosper. That is the voice of God. When the word of God is in your heart, and you declare it, and you believe it, and you act upon it, you will find results in in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me conclude by saying that those who connect to the glory of God are always protected. When you connect to the glory of God, you are always protected. Are you out there? You don't know where to turn to. There are demons, there are false, there are wicked men and wicked women all over. There are wicked people all over. Do you need protection? Please don't run to any, any, any court, any place. But I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. There is a God who will protect you when you are asleep, who will protect you when you are going out, who will protect you when you are coming in. It tells us that, look, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by, by night. It says, thousand will fall on your side, ten thousand on your right hand. It shall not come near your dwelling place. Only your eyes shall you behold to see the reward of the wicked. It is that God that I'm, 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 I'm introducing to you. Are you here, you don't know the Lord as your personal savior. He's there to protect you. All that you need is to accept into your heart. And to do so, Pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, your word, forgive me with all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. I thank you that you have accepted me. Let your spirit dwell in me. Use me mightily to your glory. Amen. May I pray for you, Father. Your children are here. May your voice, O oh God, take control over their life. When you speak, everything become calm. I know that you are too powerful to underestimate. Glory and honor I give to you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm Samuel Bessie and I want to thank God for your life. I know that God is doing greater works in your life. Those who have accepted the Lord as your personal savior, please look for a Bible-believing church in your community. So that you don't say that, oh, I don't have transportation. No, just in your community you may find a Bible-believing church and then attend. Plant yourself there so that God can also use you to do mighty work. Ten times than what I'm doing today. That's what I'm expecting. And I want to thank all our partners for your contribution and everything. If you want to be part of it, please, the moment Norma is there, you are at liberty to do so for the federance of the way. And until we meet again, I say you are blessed beyond case. Amen. Amen.